Got an early one for y'all this week, and it is the Nike Dunk Low Georgetown. My name is Jorge Manuel. Thank you for joining. Let's take a quick look. And we're back. Do me a favor and like the video and sub, click that button right down there. If you're not part of the family yet, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, this channel is getting some traction, so I really appreciate each and every one of y'all that do me that very, very huge favor of just clicking that button just one time to help me grow this channel. Now let's talk about this shoe real quick. This is the Nike Dunk Low Georgetown. So last year, a shoe that was very similar to this release and it was a women's exclusive, that was the Nike Dunk Low College Navy. Let's take a quick look at that. Ah, here we go. That is the Nike Dunk Low College Navy. This was a women's exclusive. Um, as you guys can tell, uh, I'm not gonna go into too many details on this, but uh, you do some, see some of those uh, features that a little bit more align with a women's shoe such as the uh, satin sock liner and then the laces here the camera might not pick it up but the laces are sort of satin as well these are still DS and I, I really like this color this is sort of a reverse Georgetown uh, the only difference being that the sole is a translucent sole uh, as opposed to the one that we're gonna see with the Georgetown now, now that I got this one in hand, I think I might just sell this. This is still DS, so um, I, I still really like it, but um, I don't know. I think I favor the Georgetown better than this one. And again, I'm not such a huge, huge fan of those laces on this, but otherwise it's a, still a pretty solid shoe. So who knows? Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't, but um, we'll see how it goes with the rest of this video. But I'm not going to delay this video any longer. Let's go ahead and unbox and see how these look in hand. box is super beat up I got it from StockX and I swear StockX Jesus look at that come on Ugh. all right let's go here it is ladies and gents the Nike Dunk Low in the Georgetown colorway so a dope looking shoe I think off rip you kind of see the similarities between obviously that college navy but this one I think the colors the blue and the gray are a little bit darker um, aside from that a, you know a Nike Dunk is a Nike Dunk uh, you've seen one you've seen them all if it's not a collaboration or a sort of premium Nike Dunk then it's all gonna be the same you're not gonna see any difference in the materials in the cut it's just a uh, Nike Dunk is a dunk but this is uh, one of my favorite colorways that I have released this year uh, I think I do prefer it over the College Navy, but we'll see the uh, on feet images and there's, there's some more glue stains there in the back. I don't know if the camera can pick it up there, but uh, what can you do? 
crappy box uh, some imperfections there but I guess what can you expect from StockX um, this is not the first and I'm sure it's not gonna be the last time that I get some damaged goods but I guess you can't really compete with the price so but I don't know we'll just go ahead and get to the lacing of the shoe and the close-ups I don't want to get into too many details again I repeat it's very a dunk is very simple um, but that's why I like them personally because it's just very basic and this is a Georgetown dunk retro so had to have it gray and navy shoes you can't really go wrong with them so let's go ahead and get to the lacing get to the close-ups and we'll come back in a bit and talk about sizing and uh, see if I like the shoe or not so let's go ahead and get to that that is that ladies and gents thanks again for joining again like the video if you got anything out of it sub just one time it would help me out tremendously but my final thoughts on the shoe i love the sneaker definitely keeping it in the collection i've gotten a lot of dunks in the last few years like i'm sure many of you have the price is so low on these and the resale goes for usually for a hundred dollars more than retail so that comes out to be like 200 so they're very affordable very comparable to your typical jordan in terms of price point on the resale market they uh, go for around 200 bucks sometimes a little bit more than that but it is very comparable to a brand new retail jordan shoe so um, a, a very popular sneaker nowadays and uh, this one is no exception this one definitely will go up in the 250s 300s in a few months so don't sleep on it definitely go for the sneaker very dope true to size and again keeping this one over the college navy for sure but i'm gonna close this out thank y'all for joining i'll see you on the next one peace Thank you.